everything husky. Good morning, it's another day, my friend. But soon the sunshine turns to moonlight, life goes on. Oh, 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 oh. Never hold on to hate, cause you was placed here to be great. Please take your place, all queens got a seat at my table. Cause without y'all, then the man ain't able. Melanated queen, connected to the universe. And so I gotta thank my mom for my birth. If hate is the curse, then love is the remedy. So I send you love no matter creed or identity. Until infinity, look at you like you kin to me. Even when we disagree, yo, you still kin to me. In other words, I can't bring you no trouble, can't bring you no beef, don't wanna see you deceased. Now if I'm coming at you, I'm coming with a business plan. Cause every day I'm on some, yo, let's get this money, man. Yeah, and that's my real plans. I rest my head at night, I wake up, I got another plan. Good morning, it's another day, my friend. But soon the sunshine turns to moonlight, life goes up. Tell me why we don't get money together But we'll kill each other over whatever Running down the freeway We gonna own down If black lives matter Why we gonna own down That's why they laugh And they think that we clowns They hear what we say But see how we get down We gotta change that now Right now to be exact Cause hurting that man's moms Is not where we're sat now Old school, new school Need to learn, yo They put us in groups So they can make more dough The young versus the old The old versus the young Black versus First white, you see the pattern, right? No unity, keep them all on some gutter-ish This way they don't prosper and get rich Yo, can't you see it's a trick? Just open your third eye and you'll see the full view of it Now yo, what if the powers that be Know that the real power lies within the people That's us And what if they using things like crayon colors Black and white to separate the people. Hey, yo, you gotta wake up. Don't let them fool y'all. Spread love. Good morning. It's another day, my friend. But soon the sunshine turns the moonlight. Life goes on, 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 on. It takes some time to say goodnight. You close your eyes to dream next day. to everybody who's in the building i see all of y'all in here this is what a day what a time to be alive hey no pun intended <laughs> Woo! shout out to the gang it's gonna be a great show today i'm excited for this one we got a lot to talk about not only that you guys will have an opportunity to call in as well give me your thoughts i can see what y'all are talking about what y'all have going on for the weekend all that good stuff either way let's go ahead and get into it welcome y'all welcome back to another youtube live stream and another episode of the music morning show i'm your host classy beats of classybeats.com and today we're going to be reviewing your music we are going to do possibly some live mixing and mastering in band lab depending on what you guys send in and also y'all know you saw the title you saw the thumbnail we are going to talk about what's going on with metro booming drake future and that dude j cole man i don't uh it's it's wild out here in hip-hop y'all get ready for a great conversation also today is a special day because you guys get an opportunity to call in on friday 
really give you guys a chance to call in any day of the week but friday is specifically set aside for you guys to call in so if you want to call in the link to call in is in the description y'all can also see it there over on band lab as well i want to hear y'all's thoughts here what's going on with you guys what do you have with new music releases what you think about this whole j cole drake future kendrick situation it, it's insane out here it's insane <laughs> definitely a lot of lessons to be taken away from this too but we're going to talk about it in a minute but before we get to that if you want to know how to submit your music if you're watching on band lab you can submit your songs right there in the live chat if you're watching on any other platform the for the link to submit is in the description all right and you guys can send in as many songs as you want to i want to try and get a bunch of y'all in here but uh this is going to be probably a shorter live stream i still have a couple other things this afternoon that i've got to get into so I'm gonna try and make the show move as quickly as possible. So if y'all could just make sure you get your links in there and we'll get it going. Let me say what's up to everybody who's in here first. Let me see. RGB Shorts is in here. We got Umojo's in the building. Mr. Tesla's up in here too. Shout out to the members. Oh, Janet's in the building. She says, I'm ready for my four day weekend. Let's go. Dang, that's nice, Jen. Real Science Beatmaker is up in here too. He said, submitted the newest god body release okay we've got Mies is in here too he says yo happy friday hopefully uh Mies, i'm pronouncing that right hopefully i am uh big d writes in here too he said that cover is crazy man hey this story is even crazier um we're gonna get into it into in a minute beast by two steps in here easy d is in the building underdog aka mr tesla is double dipping watching on band lab and youtube We've got Seth is in here too. Good to see y'all, man. Good to see y'all. Good to see y'all. Um, Umojo says, hey, Classy, I just made a cinematic masterpiece. I got a lot of inspiration from listening to movie music and NF a lot. It is long. Hey, yo. But I submitted it and I hope you enjoy it. I play piano in it too. Okay, shout out to you, man. That's dope. Hollywood Cozy here. He said, what y'all doing here? Woo, we're about to get into it, man. It's gonna be an interesting day, Hollywood Co. Very, very interesting day. Also, Real Science Beatmaker says, I can't call and I'm at the DMV. That's okay, we'll be here for a minute. Uh, Real Science Beatmaker says, I'm really in the rap game now. I got a suspended license in North Dakota for speeding. I got I gotta get lifted. Dang. Been there definitely been there i'm not proud of it but yeah i uh i feel you man you'll you'll get it worked out though uh who else is in here let me see let me see uh easy d say he's gonna call in cg beats is up in here too shout out to my dog cg beat cg <laughs> we're gonna talk about this whole situation in a minute but if you get a chance to call in i would that would be dope for you to call in all right let's go ahead and get into it here let me make sure let me see. Let me make sure I've got everybody's links and we're good to go. All right. First, we're going to start off with the members. Y'all know what I like to do. So we got to show love to everybody who's a member over on the Classy Beats YouTube channel. And then I will go ahead and get everybody else in here. But before we do that, y'all know what time it is. It's Friday. And what happens on Friday? We have tonight, 8 p.m. <laughs> Eastern Standard Time. Another episode of the Song of the Night Live. We're going to be giving away... $100 in cash, and you also have an opportunity to win a brand new microphone, the Shure 55SH. We're giving away two door prizes along with that too, and of course, we're gonna hear a lot of dope music. So if you guys want an opportunity to get your music heard, get a chance to win, make sure you tune in tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and tell people about the show too. Invite your family, your friends, and your fans, not only so they can support your music, but so they can vote for your song to make it into the top 20 ranking as well. We're gonna be posting the top 20 from Wednesday's episode today, later on this afternoon. And if y'all wanna get into the top 20 that we'll be posting on Monday, make sure you stop by the show. Also, on Wednesday, Greg Dose won the versus challenge that we kicked off the show with. So he got that third spot in the season eight tournament. All right? So, Definitely make sure, definitely make sure y'all stay tapped in. If you want an opportunity to get into the tournament and compete in the versus challenge, you want to tune in into tonight's episode. All right, we're going to go ahead and get into it. I think that's all the announcements I had. Oh yeah, Mandy X was on the show 
on Wednesday too. I gotta give a round of applause to Mandy X. She was an amazing co-host. We had a lot of fun. And she did a great job too. So hopefully y'all get to see more of Mandy X coming up here soon. I think she's gonna be back for a couple more episodes. And a lot of y'all in the chat said you wanted Mandy to be back too. So definitely shout out to her and I appreciate her. Let me double check and make sure we're good. Why is it showing up like that? That's weird. Uh, anyway, we'll get it figured out here in a second. All right, let me see who are the members that are in here. We've got Hollywood Co. We've got Big D Wright and Underdog, a.k.a. Mr. Tesla. So let's go ahead and get this first one from Underdog. Y'all check it out. Let me know what you think in the chat. And we're going to go ahead and get into it. Also, again, we're going to... I think what we'll do is we'll get all the members in here and then I'll get a few more. And then we got to cover this, this topic with what's going on with Drake and future and J Cole. It's, it's wild out here. Y'all here we go. This one is called peace. It's a collab with underdog and mm, somebody else. I can't see who's on this one. Oh, maybe it's just uh Charlo Roski. All right. Check it out either way. Uh, no easy D you can't, you're too young. Should be good in a minute, two step. We'll try and get it figured out. What's up, James? Ooh, is this Charlo? This is this is tough, man. This is really hard to listen to. He needs help on this mix. This is Jeez, this is bad. He had to let it, let it, let it go, yeah. It's not gonna work so good, just let it go, yeah. Does it fit like a puzzle piece and you're trapping in? You can say well, that you're gonna do this and that, but I really know that you ain't gonna spin. Look, let me give this an opportunity for you to get standing up for all of the men. Let me get it, ain't try to put it later down, but you ain't from the real, so you don't know what I'm saying. Look, let me get it, boy, I got a hook that'll feed you. You don't wanna get it, got a book that'll read you. Up and down and around the corner, I know you like it, my persona. You wanna try, but you really can't reach, cause you don't put the work in. Say you try to come up in here, you really couldn't purchase nothing. No, I am not bluffing. Go ahead and call your cousins. Tell them hurry up on the pickup. They gon' really get sick of you. Uh-uh, no, he did. Oh, yes, I did, though. You can hit the door. Make sure you're not coming back. Don't worry, he not attached. Not for real. Uh, let me get it. This is deal. Uh, you can go ahead and say that you stop it. I know that you're harder than steel. You're not the man for real. Yeah, I like the concept on this. What's up, James? I see you over there. Yeah. Yeah, I like the idea on this one for sure. Underdog, your vocals weren't absolutely terrible, but they just need some work, especially those higher frequencies and the S's. Those need to be smoothed out a lot. But overall, it sounded good. Your flow energy was on point on that one, so no complaints there. But Charlo, man, hopefully I'm saying his name wrong. That was... This, the mix on these vocals was terrible. It was just bad. Yeah, and then, yeah, I don't know. I want to see. I would actually want to, if we had more time, I would collaborate on this. Ah, let me just look at it real quick. I just want to see what he did with his vocals and why they sound so rough. It's probably, ah, and he doesn't have his vocal tracks in there. Dang. 
Mr. Tesla said, I still can't find the preset you did. Okay, mm, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to fix that for you then. All right, so this isn't gonna work because he didn't even include the, he didn't include the vocals in there. So we can't do anything about that. But yeah, that was rough. Mr. Tesla, you said, I can't find the preset. Let me see if I can find it for you. And then I'll just drop it in the chat. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Um, we'll go studio. Oh, shout out to Majestic. Majestic's up in here. She says, good morning. Happy Friday, everyone. Just wanted to say hey. Shout out to Majestic. Appreciate you being here. All right, so I'm going to save this for you. I'm going to save this one for you right now. It looks like I might not have saved it. So let me make sure. Is this the one? Oh, you know why? I know why. I'm going to have to send you a different preset, Mr. Tesla. So I'll use this one to make you a good preset. I actually took this. Let me see here. Is it this one? No. Yeah, I actually took this vocal outside of band lab. No pen and paper, homie. Look. Freestyle, yeah. No pen and paper, homie. Yeah, so this, I actually took this out of band lab and mixed these vocals in Cakewalk because there were a couple other plugins from Wave that I wanted to use. So it's going to be just, you'll have to send me your recording setup and we'll, we'll get you something. We'll get you right, man. So just send me, you can even invite me into that last project that we just played from you. And then I'll make you a preset on that. It's just, there was a lot of background noise in this. So I opened it in Cakewalked. I used two waves plugins to remove some of that extra reverb and to clear up the vocals. And then I imported it back into band lab. And I added this preset so I could give you this preset that I use for your vocals on freestyle. But if you try and put it on your your raw vocals, then it's going to need more work because there is a lot of background noise. So, yeah, if you could do that, that would be amazing, man. Shout out to you. <clears throat> Let me see. Mikey gas can is up here. What's up, man? We've got. And yeah, and something. I don't know how to say your name. Beast by two steps says this stream won't stop deleting. Yeah, it's not me, man. You just have to you have to try and refresh. Let me try. try. I'll try and fix it, but I can see it just fine. I'll try and see if I can get it right. Either way, let's get Hollywood Co up in here. He sent over a song from Rap Chat. OK, cool. Shout out to Rap Chat gang. This is called Spot em, featuring Wave Lori. Let's go. Energy man, why you do that, man? Ooh, Sam, Hey, green What's beam up, on the Glock, I can spot your ass. Internet beefing, nigga, I beat, I shot your ass. Thinking about running off on me, nigga, not so fast. Nigga, rest in peace, dot your T and cross your ass. I ain't got to cock it back, my Glock circumcised. Selling weed through LLC, I commercialized. In the swimming pool off a of perk, that's perk. Right on me, nigga think he cool, 
blue, caught him lagging, he did it in the street. Drippin' in designer, cocaine, white horses on my feet. Brian dirty strap, man, these cops keep following me. Yeah, Hit him up in person, nigga, don't do no internet beat. Nah. I'm a different breed, nigga, don't do no compete. I'm good at where I go, nigga, I'm a type. What's up, Jay Fanu? I attack you while I'm down, I'm a type. Aggravated out the pills, smoke the gas, boost me high. White bitch has some good pussy, made me want a wife, yeah. The purple tape. There it is. Purple tape is on the way. Oh, is it out? I think it's out. I think it's out. Let's go. Hollywood Co said, I dropped it on BandLab and Rap Chat so far. Is it out? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oh, I can't remember. Dang, is it under Co? No, it's going to be under Hollywood. Why don't I just go to the projects and find it that way? And go to collaborations. There we go. Let me see if I can find it. Albums. Oh, there it is. It's out, y'all. Oh, I can't save this. Dang, that's lame. Hmm. BandLab, you need to add a feature to where we can save save uh, albums. Unless they have it already. Y'all have to let me know. Um, this is dope. Yeah, this is super dope. I want to hear some more off of that. Shout out to Hollywood Co and Drip and everybody, everybody who's on this. Yeah, I know it's going to be nice. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big D Wright say he's going to add it to his playlist. Yes, sir. Shout out to Trap Towns who's over there. Oh, I need to get, I said ben, I was going to get Band Lab right. Uh, let me get a few more songs in here and then we'll cover what's going on with the, uh, what's going on with J. Cole and Drake. It's crazy. All right, y'all check this next one out. We're going to get Big D Wright in here and then we'll get one from Young Step. Uh, see let me see let me see all right here we go this one it's big d right the song is called calling out for you and then we'll get young step in here too i didn't even follow you but every single night i seem to call for you crying out for you crying out for you oh I'm trying to get band lab. Right. But every single night I seem to call for you. Crying out for you, crying out for you. And it goes like. She had me, she had me, she had me crying out for you.
like y'all are feeling in the chat too yeah mr tesla said this track is dope i remember this the mix wise it sounds good there are a couple of level adjustments i would make maybe add a little bit a little bit more eq on the beat but this sounds this sounds really good man you did a good job mixing this let me listen to let me listen to this real quick hey, overflowing like a burning flame i'm yes. pouring out my soul with every breath i say my yeah. love for you. It's good. You just gotta get the volume, the levels right on the she volume. She got me, she got me, she got me crying out for you. Yeah, this is really good, man. So we'll just add a little bit of EQ on the beat to give you some more space. Turn the vocals up a little bit, and you'll be you'll be all set. She got me, she got me, she got me crying out for you. She got me crying out for you. She got me crying out for you mm -hmm. Baby, can you hear me calling out your name? Feelings overflowing like a burning flame I'm pouring out my soul with every breath I say My love for you, no one can ever fake The nights are long when you're not here My emotions run deep, crystal clear I need you close to ease this pain Forever by my side, let's dance in this rain I'm on my knees, begging for your love Sent from above, you're my angel, my dove I cherish you always, in every way Together we'll shine brighter, every day She got me, she got me calling out for you She got me calling out for you, for you I'm reaching out, with tears in my eyes Love is no disguise Every word I say Comes straight from my heart I'm crying out to you Hoping we'll never be apart You hear me crying out your name Feel like this pain won't go away Feeling like a stain that can never come out Baby, give me heaven Don't let me have no doubt Cause I really do love you And yeah, appreciate all these moves I got for you The things that we've done And the things that we gonna do Got a future so bright, and you know it's really true. I love it. I love it. I love it. 
Yeah, I just made a couple of adjustments, Big D, right? I added some EQ on the beat just to give your vocals some more space so they weren't clashing, clashing with some of the frequencies from your vocals. On the orange vocals, the only thing I did here was I adjusted these highs a little bit more. Everything else sounded really good. And then on your main vocals on the verse, I changed the frequency on the ds -er a little bit. And then I just boosted the mid range, took out some lows a little bit to clear up some of that muddiness and then brought down the highs some on that one too. Um, overall, this was a really good mix, man. Great job. Great job, man. Uh, what does you Mojo say? And shout out to Donnie boy and ye on top for real over on band lab. I see y'all. Um, here we go. You Mojo says classic. My album is dropping now. I just used DistroKid and I'm waiting for it to drop on all the stores and streaming platforms. Any advice and how long do you think it will take or be public? Mm, for me, it, it takes less than 24 hours. Uh, when you mean any advice, what, what do you mean? As far as using DistroKid, just let me know. Uh, he says, supposedly it will be in stores in about a week, but how long did it take for you? Are you setting it to release today? If you're setting it to release today, it'll probably be out everywhere tomorrow or Sunday. Young Steppa says, yeah, it takes me less than 24 hours to get it most except for a few. Oh, I agree. Mr. Tesla says, and it's Friday, might have to leave work early. Yeah, man, get up out of there. Big D Wright said, let's go. I wasn't too close to the mic this time. I appreciate Classy in the chat. Yeah, good job, Big D Wright. This is dope. Really great song. It's dope to see y'all level up, man. Because this sounded, this sounded really good. I'm impressed. I'm not going to lie. All right, let's see who we have up next. We need to get Young Steppa with Lullaby for You. Y'all let me know what you think about this one from Young Steppa. Let's go. And I did not need me to close that. Let's when you see. ever feel down, like you just can't do anything, maybe you're lonely. Maybe you just feel helpless. Maybe you just don't know what to do with your life anymore. Always, always listen to this because I'll always be there for you. No matter what, I will always, always be there for you. I'll be by your side uh, let's see. until I die. And even then, I'll be up in the clouds. Like As the sun beams, my heart starts to warm. As long as you remember me, I'll just go ahead and let it be. As long as you promise that you remember. That's all I've got so far. Oh, okay. Shout out to Young Steppa. Yeah, the intro was good. So once you got to this part, it was a little... There's a lot going on here. So the deeper vocals, I don't know if you're using the auto-tune feature to make that happen. If you are, I would dial back the mix a little bit. If not, if it's a separate set of vocals, then I would just turn them down some because they were clashing a little bit on that one. And honestly... Nah, you do your thing creatively, so you're good. Other than that, it sounded pretty good. The beat was a little loud, especially the, the harps on this one. As long as you remember me. There were certain parts where it got too loud, so maybe add some EQ on the beat, and you should be good to go. All right, Young Steppa up in here. And what does he say? He says... 
Oh, Big D Wright says, turn down the reverb on this, but I see what you were going for. Yeah, I agree. He says, this is dedicated to my little cousin who tried to delete herself. Wow, that's terrible. I want her to know she's not alone and that she doesn't have to go through this alone. Okay, in that case, that dark effect, I don't know that that fits with the, the song. I was, that's what I would, wanted to say earlier. Um, but I was just going to leave it alone. But this doubled lower vocals. Yeah, it doesn't really fit with the, the energy and the lyrics of the song. So I might even remove that. If you want to put some harmonies instead, I think that could change the entire, the entire message of the song on this one. But yeah, overall, it's nice, man. Good job on that one. All righty, who else? We have, who is that, MZ? It says, yo, how do we submit a song? So the link to submit is in the description. If you're watching on BandLab, you can drop your links right there in the live chat and I'll make sure I get them. Carlos is in here too. He says, go, 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 go. I think that's what he's saying over there. Shout out to Carlos and who else? Sunday said, are we live streaming somewhere else? Yes, we're live streaming on Pretty much all platforms, Kick, Twitch, X, YouTube, BandLab, Facebook, wherever you can, wherever you can live stream, we're, we're live streaming there. Okay, I've got a couple more I want to get, and we're going to keep it moving. Let's see. Let's get you Mojo in here next. This one is, oh, and he's giving some plug-in advice too. What does he say? He says, use... Grayleon for pitch shifting, it's better. He said he's the pro of free plugins. Yeah, send me a list. Send me a list, you mojo, because I could definitely use some more free plugins. I mean, I probably don't need them, but I'll take them. <laughs> this is called Two Oblivion. Let's go. What's up, Triple C? I got you in the next. He has 200 free plugins. Sheesh. I'm going to add this to our beats playlist too.
shout out to you mojo up in here yeah that was nice if y'all want to find that one you can find it over on his page of course or you can check out the community beats playlist volume two or the beats to listen to playlist over on band lab um yeah that was my nice man i know you said it was nf inspired and cinematic you definitely nailed those two vibes the mix was great on this i love it man great sound selection the strings were nice the piano was nice you did your thing on that one and everybody in the chat is feeling it too yeah 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 good job all right let's get triple c in here and then we'll get wayne rich we got to get the members in here and after that, unless we have some other members appear, we will get into our topic today and cover Metro Boomin's new album. We still don't trust you and what's going on there. It's uh, definitely interesting. Let me see. And also, guys, once we get through covering that topic, we will do some more music reviews at the end of the show. We'll do a little bit of a speed round and then I'll get y'all up out of here. OK. Uh, Real Science Beatmaker says, when is a call in? So you can call in at any time. So I'm going to play these next two songs and then I'll probably take most of the calls once I once I review everything that's going on with the uh, the new album drop. All right. Check this one out. We've got triple C in here. It's called Hold Up. Let's go. Hello, world. It's your boy Triple C. Uh, yeah, you mojo. I definitely think you could. That boy solo. I let you boy. I think you could. 2009 talking super post, black trim, blue spokes, grind hard and say your nose, but behind the chicken nigga I never choke. Old folk, mind your biz. If you don't, you gon' wish you did. Funky town, come a triple C. Erase your snitch like my nigga D. Make your bid and place your bets. Soccer rocks, keep my pocket set. Seven goals, stay away from place, but don't get it twisted, cause I pull a tech. Leave you wet, I guess you lost. Got fucked out, fucking with the boss. Shit your throat and see your mouth. Leave you leaking for the red cross. Candy blue, keep a gloss. Open the trunk and know I'm the boss. Slit your ears and zip your mouth. If you don't, bitch, Gonna get tired. The really niggas say ready for war. Check my stripes, check my scars. Nice, Get the feet, better go far. Niggas hate me, swag and hoes love my car. When the slab knock, you on block a rock. Snap my fingers, the trunk will pop. Clap my hands, the top will drop. On super four, swinging on the clock. Bleed your block, stone for stone. I'm a fade five and Holly Berry phone. Sliding glide, cause I'm riding on chrome. Got movers trying to explain they wrong. Hold up, hold up, my nigga, what it do? You acting like a fool, I'ma show you what I do. I hit you with the two, knock you out your fucking shoes. You fucking with a fucking time. Stop the beat, let me catch my breath. 
for a friend, stay true to myself, stay true to that. So okay. I'm fucking dead, trying to get my money, trying to buy my ends. Companies and a lot of beans, taking chances, by the team, trying to draw some pins. Set a trend, nigga, play the K to make your body rock. Phone crush, you better stop. Get your click, and make a plaque. Cause outside the club, I sweep the lot. See the red dot, know I'm about to bust. Fuck friends, I'm a Glock, won't trust. Turn your nigga back into dust like an empty can, bitch, you getting crushed. Don't start the fuss, cause I don't fuck you, bro. I see your cans, can, but do my nausea twang. Drop the scenes for the couple of bars, call a hawk, a Luca, she a porn star. And the foreign car screens in my dough. Laptops, watch the hustle and flow. Baby, in trading zero with a bad hoe like J Lo. Hold up, hold up, my nigga, what it do? You acting like a fool, I'ma show you what I do. I hit you with the two, knock you out your fucking shoes. Yeah. You fucking with a fucking time, nigga, straight hood with a thug. Hold up, hold up, my nigga, what it do? You acting like a fool, I'ma show you what I do. I hit you with the two, knock you out your fucking shoes. You fucking with hey, a fucking up, time, nigga, straight hood with a thug. All right, there it is, Triple C. That was nice, man. I just, man, this was so good. I just wish it had a good mix on it. Did you, Triple C, you'll have to let me know in the chat. Did you download this for somewhere or use some type of AI to, to clean this up or some AI vocal remover or something for this? Because it just sounds, it sounds weird. It sounds like all the life was drained out of this mix and it could be fire if you just had a good mix on this. So you have to let me know what happened. But even though it didn't have a great mix, this was still enjoyable to listen to. I liked it. You had the flow. The hook was well placed. So this is a good song, man. You just got it. Man, you need to get a solid mix on this and it will be. That would be it. Um. Hollywood Co said he might have used Clarity Master. What is that? Oh. <laughs> God, I hope not. Yes. Yeah, it just took all the life out of the mix. And it doesn't sound like Clarity. It sounds like he did something else to it. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. It sounds like you import it into one of those websites that lets you take the song and separate all the different instruments because there's just some weird artifacts that I'm hearing in there that just don't sound natural. So either way, here we go. Wayne rich with goodbye and shout out to horror hero over there and Cole cold to cold. Okay. I see. I see. Uh, Hollywood co said I'd be using clarity when I feel like my song is too loud. Oh yeah. That's a good idea. Um, Big T right said, you think he used Fire Master? Y'all better stop, man. <laughs> this is not Avatar, so we don't talk about Fire Masters over here. There you go.
Boy, that was intense. Appreciate you for sending that one in, Wayne Rich. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, you can hear the emotion in that one too, man. Hey, I hope. <laughs> Lyrically, that was that was really good, man. Oh, what does he say? He said, I'm getting I'm getting divorced and was kicked out of my home. Oh no. What? Can't get kicked out of your house, man. He said, I'm in the middle of Kansas right now, visiting my mother who's in, on life support, I think you meant to say. Pray for me, everyone. The only thing I have is music right now. All right, y'all, prayers up for Muse Mind, man. I cannot imagine. Wow. Yeah, and uh, you'll have to give us an update what's going on with your, your mother, man, so I know how to pray specifically because we like specific prayers over here, and we will definitely do that. But, yeah, man, hey, praying for you. Be strong. Things are definitely going to get better, man. And I know you're going to find a way, especially with your divorce. Um, do you have any? You have to let me know if you have any kids. That might be getting too personal. I don't know. Don't answer that. We can maybe talk offline. But it's going to get better, man. You're going to recover. Um, just focus on yourself. Focus on being with your mom, spending time with him and um, or spending time with her. And you're going to be you're going to be OK, man. We're here to support you. We're here for you. We'll definitely keep you in our prayers. And be safe, man. All righty. Lay low is up in here too. Prince K said, my bad. The Wi-Fi cut off. I'm just waiting for me. Okay. So I think we got the members in here. We're going to... Let me see. Big D Wright said, it reminds me of that one song called Where Do I Belong? Hmm. I'm not good with song names. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure what song you mean. Uh, Big D Wright said, bless up. Yes, sir, for sure. Let me double check and make sure I got all the members. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to cover this album release. There's a lot going on with this, <laughs> this album release. Future, Metro Boomin', Kendrick, J. Cole, Drake, The Weeknd even. Like, what? ASAP Rocky, what is going on with hip hop, man? And there is a lesson to be learned in all of this. I have an interesting take and an interesting viewpoint on this. And I actually think Drake is winning right now. We're going to talk about why here in a second. But before we do, if y'all could make sure you like the video, if you haven't liked the video yet, not only does it help the show continue to grow, but it lets the algorithm know you guys are enjoying the show and it shares it with more people too. So let's go ahead and get into this topic. And then once we're done, we'll get to the speed round and then I'll get y'all up out of here real quick. You says classy. I desperately want someone to rap on that beat. Do you have any recommendations? Hmm. The first person that came to my head when I heard that one was cray. But. Hmm, let me think. Of, let me think. Chat, y'all have to let me know too. Who, what artists in the community do you hear on this? <laughs> my, as crazy as it sounds, I hear Cray on this for some reason. Hollywood Coast says Stovey. I'm gonna have to think I'm gonna have to think about that one because it's a very specific very specific beat so it's gonna require someone who is able to change their energy 
with the track. I think Stovey was a good one. Cray is another one. Um, he said, I would produce the artist's vocals. Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Yeah, I think that's I think that's everybody I can think of. Lalo is up in here too. What's up, Lalo? We've also got Chino is in the building too. Actually, let me play one more song for y'all real quick, and then we'll go ahead and get we'll go ahead and cover our topic. So give me one second, y'all. I'll be right back. This is Hostage by James Turner. Trap goes James Turner. James Turner in here. That was nice. Song structure was a little shaky. It's tough, kind of tough to follow at times, but overall, this is a nice one. I like it. You have a nice voice and nice sound. I would probably listen to that again. Y'all let me know in the chat. What do you think? Let me know what you think. All right, we'll get one more question in here, and then we've got to cover our cop our topic for today. Umojo says, Classy, what is your favorite AI art tool? I realize a lot of them have annoying credit systems or daily limits. What do you use? I use AI art all the time. I like Canva's AI art. AI art. Um, you can use chat GBT. It works really, really well, but you do have to pay to use chat GBT. So I think you can use Dolly for free up to a certain point though it does have limits on it but canva if you have canva you can use it as many times as you want to so shout out to canva super dope all right and shout out to james turner too here we go y'all it's time we gotta talk about it yeah and if you want to if you want to know where to find it you mojo i'll show you where you can find it so this is my canva let's go let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Here we go. So I use this. I used AI to make this one today. Yeah, he says in the app section. Yes. So all you have to do is you want to go to apps. And it's annoying that it's named this way, but you might see it in AI powered or popular. It's the one called Magic Media. And I use it every single day to make my to make my thumbnails for my beats. All right, so check it out. Big shout out to Canva. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. It's that time. And y'all, make sure you stay stay active in the chat. Let me know what y'all think because I definitely want to hear 
your opinions on this whole topic. But let me go over here. So Metro Boomin and Future just dropped another collaborative album. We still don't trust you. I listened to the whole thing. It is dope. I actually like this one. Production wise, I like this one better than uh, We Don't Trust You. I think the production was a lot more thought out. It sounded way, way better than We Don't Trust You. And uh, it was just nice to listen to. I had several tracks on the on the album that I enjoyed the most. I haven't listened to the second part, though, because there's two there's two sides to this album. So there's disc one, disc two. And I like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten out of the 18 on the first track. So it's dope. It sounded good. If Y'all haven't listened to it yet. Definitely go and check it out. Let me know in the comments and in the chat if you've listened to it yet. But of course. With everything that went on with the We Don't Trust You album, Kendrick dropped his verse on that first one. We've got some more drama on this one. And the reason being is because not only did a couple artists go at Drake on this album, allegedly, but J. Cole is on the album too, which is like, <laughs> this guy. J. Cole is just making crazy moves. Now, obviously, we don't know when J. Cole's verse was recorded. We don't know when they agreed to release the album, but obviously it's not a great look, especially considering that he did first person shooter with Drake seemingly sided with Drake. Then he just recently in the last couple of days issued an apology after he dropped a diss track to Kendrick Lamar on might delete later. So I don't know what's going on in hip hop right now. The entire hip hop world is is turned upside down, but it's looking like it's going to be Drake versus the world. Uh, it's Drake versus the world right now, Drake versus the hip hop world. And it seemingly started a little while ago when people were questioning where his place was in hip hop. But we're going to go ahead and get into it. Let's check out this article by Complex. They do a great job of summarizing everything that went down with the album and also how people are reacting to J. Cole's feature on this album as well. So the title of the article is J. Cole makes a surprise appearance on Future and Metro Boom is red, le I'm sorry, red leather and fans can't believe it. I was not expecting it either. It's safe to say fans were not expecting to hear J. Cole on Future and Metro Boomin's We Still Don't Trust You, but here we are. What a time to be alive. That's so funny. I said the same thing. <laughs> I like, I like what they did there. Uh, pun intended. Anyway, Cole comes in at the end of disc one, contributing a memorable, a memorable verse to Red Leather that opens with him being impressed by Future's 20 girlfriends, which I thought was hey, yo. weird. Uh, from there, Cole dabbles in a lifestyle of sin before he ultimately lets his willpower still steer him elsewhere. Yeah, the, the lyrics to this one are weird. We're going to read the lyrics here in a second. For fans looking for more from Cole on matters of the Kendrick Lamar and like that variety, it's very unlikely this verse boasts an actual subliminals in that direction, which because I think it was recorded before all of this went down. Either way, in fact, one could argue that this is potentially an older verse from Cole and could even be one that far precedes the events of the past few weeks. Yeah, and I haven't read this article yet, so I'm trying not to I apologize if I'm saying some things and they say it in the article. Uh, still, the timing is noteworthy, worthy, if not peculiar. Cole essentially bowed out of the brief back and forth when he expressed regret over his own seven minute drill earlier this month, which I think was the weakest move in hip hop history absolutely weak and there are some people who agree there are some people who say it's honorable i think it's weak and in the spirit of competition is the lamest move he could have made way lamer than the apology and lest we forget cole's first person shooter collaborator and recent tour partner drake is also caught up in all of this though the summer games sequel denier hasn't yet taken to wax himself oh my gosh let's see but that's not easy to but that's not to say that Cole isn't in a reflective state of mind on red leather. Deeper into his verse, he raps confidently about his own legacy while reminding listeners 
that his energy was never on some toughest ninja sh mm -mm -mm. that's stop the cap we're gonna read the lyrics in a minute i don't see how he could say that on this verse we're, we're gonna check out the lyrics and break it down a little bit more but it doesn't make sense to me because for years he's been saying i'm the best i'm the man then he gives an issues an apology then he says i'm not out here on some i'm the best i'm the toughest i don't get it man and they quote some of the some of the lyrics here which we'll get into expectedly cole's surprise appearance on we don't trust you on the we don't trust you sequel proved to be a shock for listeners as the album hit streamers overnight get a look at how the world handled it below and it was not good uh, this person says you can tell these mfers <laughs> these mfers don't know how making music works they say cole switched sides like he recorded this ish yesterday i agree with that 100 percent. i wouldn't look too much into it who is advising cole right now oh man seriously even after which yes was the verse old yes did he agree for it to be released true it depends on the agreement they had because could cole have made a phone call and said hey i don't want y'all to release it can you hold it and put it on the deluxe version or something and metro boom is like nah <laughs> sorry is this maybe one of the reasons why Cole apologized? We don't know. I mean, there's so many things going on behind the scene. Of course, Team Dreamville, they have been caping this entire time. And just obviously they're going to back up Cole, but some of their tweets have just been annoying. Dream, uh, Team Dreamville said this album has been submitted for a while. So don't believe he's acknowledging anything recent on this verse. Man, shut up. God. J. Cole spoke about being in the studio with Metro Boomin in his vlog, so we knew they've gotten some work. They've gotten some work in. Yeah, whatever, Dreamville. I don't not listen to y'all. Super bias. Uh, Drake when he heard J. Cole on Red Leather. I know that ain't who I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Drake. I'm going to tell y'all, Drake is winning right now. It doesn't look like it, but I'm going to tell y'all why in a second. This this is such a great move for Drake. And I'm going to explain a little bit more and why that is here in a second. And they're saying, uh, here's another one that says Drake finding out Cole is on red leather. <laughs> the internet's amazing. SK says, Cole, J. Cole, what's going on, bro? Imagine getting dissed, responding with the diss, apologizing for the diss you made, then making a song with the people who let someone diss you. Cole's legacy is in tatters, laughing my you know what off. Yeah. So, anyway, Cole right now is, it looks like he is just, again, the middleman in all of this. He's taking shots from everywhere, not but. We can't completely uh, take away <laughs> take away his accountability because he did drop a song on Might Delete Later going directly at Kendrick Lamar. So J. Cole, man, in this whole situation, he is the biggest loser, in my opinion. I don't know if he's just trying to speed up his retirement or what, but uh, J. Cole at the end of all of this is not going to look good. I mean, he will buy his fans, obviously, but with the rest of hip hop, it's, it's crazy. Let's go ahead and get into the lyrics here real quick. And then once we read the lyrics, I'm going to uh, let y'all know why I think J. Cole or Drake is winning in this situation because, I mean, they're making him out to be a villain and everybody's going at Drake right now. So these are the lyrics to Red Leather. We're going to scroll down. Future had the first like two thirds of the song, which it was, it was a long song. I think it was like four minutes. Nah, it was longer than that. Six minutes and 54 seconds. Good Lord. So future had two thirds of the song and then Cole comes in with verse two. Here we go. Pluto, which is interesting. I know we're just on the first line. Pluto got 20 two, Pluto got 20 girlfriends. Damn. I'm doing I'm doing it wrong. Do y'all remember when the last time J. Cole mentioned Pluto? Does anybody remember in the comments and in the chat? 
if you don't, I'm going to remind you. It was very, very recent. And where he mentioned Pluto was on his most recent drop. Might delete later. <laughs> Crocodile Tears. Y'all remember we reviewed this in the last video. And if you go and you look through the lyrics, what did J. Cole say? Let me find it. Verse 2, Crocodile Tears. Yes, sir. It's me, not two, not three. The Uno. G O A T. I need my fee. F kudos. Here we go. G4 at least. These flights ain't cheap, as you know. They sounded faded. They downgraded. They. Pluto. Oh! What is going on, man? I'm bigger than Mars. This ninja is star. I'm Bruno. I'm, I'm the one they call when they want a song to a funeral. I don't get this guy. I don't get this guy, man. So anyway, just a quick reminder. I think it's hilarious how in Crocodile Tears, he's mentioning Pluto. But then you're going to, are you going to say on this verse when you're referring, referring to him as Pluto? That that's not what you meant in crocodile tears come on man this is this is crazy pluto got 20 girlfriends damn i'm do, i'm doing it wrong cut off all my hoes <laughs> now i'm only putting you in a song day one shoddy been with me from the playground hey now baby that's the reason i was playing around running like a chicken with his head cut off through the streets where the freaks love the red leather on my shoulder, on my shoulder blades in my older age. All right, here we go. So he goes through a couple other things. These aren't important. He's just big up in future, which again is weird. I don't get it, man. Anyway, here we go. He says, he says, my story's more, my story's more clever. My simile's way better. My energy was never on some toughest ninja shit. I was just a conscious rapper that would F a ninja bish. I don't understand this dude, J. Cole, man. I don't get him. It doesn't make any sense. Even if this verse was recorded several months ago, like they said, and then he drops might delete later. And now he's apologizing for all of it. It's still doesn't make sense. So is J. Cole going to come out and issue another apology? Oh, I was in a different place when I recorded this track. Y'all know I just apologized to Kendrick. Bro, this is. This is crazy. Uh, I was just a ninja from the rougher from the rougher premises. Kept my nose out the streets, but I love to get a whiff of the action with risk comes attraction. The blicks. <laughs> The blicks get to blast and I turn into tracks into a track star. What are all the hoes? What the F you think I rap for? What? I don't know what's going on with this dude, man. This does this whole situation doesn't make any sense. And then he mentions Ruby Rose, which was super random. He said, but it's hard. It's hard when you with your dogs at the freak show. Think I could bag Ruby Rose with a keystroke. What? Yeah, somebody needs to someone needs to check on J. Cole. I don't know what's going on with him. Maybe again, this verse was recorded at a time to where he was just working through some things and now he's all of a sudden enlightened. He's trying to make peace with everybody. I just I'm not seeing it. I don't get it. But I do want to tell y'all why I think Drake is gonna win in this situation. There are so many factors. If you even look through history, especially if we're talking about hip hop being a sport and this this back and forth being sport like if you look at the michael jordans if you look at the kobe bryants if you look at even michael jackson and and prince at times they all were met with adversity and even if there was real adversity or not they always some of the greats had something that was pushing them and now i like drake i like his music i'm not gonna say i'm a drake fan 
I think I'm a fan of more of his business acumen and the way he thinks and the way he moves when it comes to his branding than him a fan of his actual music. But it's looking like Drake is going to come out and win in this situation for so many reasons, because now he's going to be made to be the villain. It's Drake against the world. Everybody's against Drake. We're going to talk in a minute about two other artists that went at him the weekend ASAP Rocky. I mean, it's just so much is going on and Drake is going to have even more ammo to go up against Kendrick because we know he's all, he's going to respond the weekend. I mean, we're not really worried about the weekend or ASAP Rocky, honestly, but we'll read what they said here in a minute. He's going to have a lot of ammo going into this. And I think people are going to support and give Drake props for going up when everybody turned against him, when everybody went against him, Kendrick's dissing him, J Cole turned on him. Drake is becoming the villain. And I think this is just going to motivate him even more, especially seeing what he's done in the past when People have tried to bring him down when they brought up secrets. He stood tall. He addressed it, kept it moving, and he won and got even better in the end. And those other people that brought up accusations against him, some of the things were true, some of the things were not true. We're not even talking about him anymore. Even J. Cole said the only reason we're talking about Kendrick is because he's talking about Drake. Someone said in the chat, where's Pusha T? Let's talk about Pusha T. Also, speaking of that whole Pusha T situation, I don't know if they're talking about Drake's baby mama, but Future does mention how he was messing with the girl before someone did. So that might be another shot at Drake. I don't know. But either way, man, Drake is going to have so much ammo. I right, just think of the storylines he can go with. This dude, I thought he was on my side. He's a snake. He turned against me. This other guy. I was giving him his props. I wanted to keep it cool, but now we've got to go to war. These other guys, I don't care what y'all are doing. You weren't even relevant until you started addressing me. The only reason you're doing numbers and your biggest song is because you're attacking me. I make y'all relevant. Drake is going, mm. I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, this is a great thing for Drake. Drake Cole just, I think he helped out Drake and Kendrick, but mostly Drake because Going into this, Drake is going to unload. He has to. And I mean, if you look at his history, you look how he's responded to these things in the past. We know something, something is getting ready. So someone mentioned to me or was messaging me, asking me if I thought Drake was going to drop last night. It's like, no, nah, I don't see it happening. If you think it's going to, if you think Drake's going to drop, it's probably going to be pushed off until a later date. We know he's working on some things, so I'll be interested to see how he responds because there's a lot, a lot of ammo he's got now. Speaking of the weekend and ASAP Rocky go at Drake, allegedly <laughs> on Metro Boomin's album he did with Future. Uh, we still don't trust you. Check it out. We're going to read this article by Hip Hop DX because they explain what's going on what lyrics were directed, allegedly directed at, Jer at Drake and why they were directed at Drake too. There's a little bit of a background story for y'all between Drake and The Weeknd. So if you don't know about it, listen up. We're going to tell you what's going on. All right. Drake has been hit with more shots on Future and Metro Boomin's new album, We Still Don't Trust You, with ASAP Rocky and The Weeknd appearing to take aim at the Canadian hit maker. After Future and most notably Kendrick Lamar dissed Drizzy, Three weeks ago on We Don't Trust You, the follow-up appears to be just as loaded. On Show of Hands, Rocky seemingly raps about having a relationship with Drake's baby mama, Sophie, Sophie I don't know how to say her last name, uh, before she welcomed their son, Adonis. Ninjas swear their bitch is the baddest. I just banged the worst one. Ninjas in their feelings over women. What you hurt or something. I smashed before you birthed, before you birthed your son. God. <laughs> Flacco hit it first, son. I don't think this is anything new because wasn't she a, wasn't she a former adult film star? So I mean, I, that's that's old news, and nobody's checking for ASAP Rocky anyway. I mean, let's be honest. So I don't think this is really big news, but it's interesting nonetheless. Uh, he also appears to throw shade at Drake's For All the Dogs. 
LP, still don't trust you. It was always us, never them. Heard you dropped your latest ish. Funny how it just came and went. Mm, that's not true either. Stop the cap. Drake was seemingly Drake was Drake has seemingly been baited. All right, I can I got this, y'all. Drake has seemingly been baiting the Harlem rapper in recent months over his relationship with Rihanna, who Drizzy was once rumored to have a fling with. On the For All the Dogs track, another late night, he rapped, I ain't I ain't pretty flocko, bish. That ish get really rocky. <laughs> He said, damn, what? Dirty how I did him in the rape. Oh, man. <laughs> nah, I don't think Drake. I don't think Drake's mad. I think he's just fine. Rocky later responded via guest verse on Kid Cudi's Wow, where he said, these ninjas can't stomach me. Got to get a handshake. Or got to get a, I'm sorry. Got to get a man Drake. The weekend who features several times across we still don't trust you also appears to vent some anger towards his former friend on the song all to myself. Now this one's the most interesting. He sings these ninjas always yapping. Yeah. I promise that I got your back. Oh, look at how, look at how we move him, baby. And he's singing this the whole time too, which was hilarious to me. Anyway, they can never diss my brother's baby. Uh, when they got leaks in their operation, he's referring to Drake. So apparently Drake has leaks in this operation. I don't know how. I think it, maybe he's talking about that viral video Drake had several months ago. Um, and I'll leave it at that. If y'all don't know what I'm talking about, go, <laughs> go research at your own risk. I thank God that I never signed my life away. And we never, ha and we never do the big talk. They shoot us making TikToks. Got us laughing in the Lambo. Now, Drake did offer our OVO gave the weekend an opportunity to sign. So I think a lot of people are speculating that this is what the weekend is saying that thank God he never signed to OVO, but I mean, that hasn't been verified. I'm sure he was offered a lot of, I'm sure he was offered a lot of record deals. So it could be OVO. It could not be. And they and hip hop DX even says it here. It says the lyrics appear to relate to Drake's failed attempts to sign the weekend on his OVO sound label earlier, early in his career when the two collaborated often. All right. He also seems to take a shot at Baca Not Nice, which I don't think anybody cares about or knows about, who signed to OVO sound and is active on TikTok, which why wouldn't you be active on TikTok as an artist? Often assuming the role of Drake's guard dog, Baca was previously arrested for human trafficking. All right. Drake has yet to respond to yet more shots being aimed in his direction, but there is speculation. He has a nuclear diss track locked and loaded aimed at longtime rival Kendrick Lamar in particular future in Metro Boomers. We still don't trust you, which also features J Cole, Lil baby, Chris Brown and Ty Dolla Sign can be streamed in full ear. All right, so let me know what y'all think in the chat. How is how is Drake going to respond to all of this? Do you think he's going to respond? There's still some people out there who are saying Drake's not going to respond. To me, there is no way Drake passes up on this opportunity to prove even more that he's at the top of his game. So let me know what y'all think. I'm looking forward to seeing how Drake responds. This is about to get crazy. About to get crazy. And I'm loving every second of it too. You know, I'm <laughs> Drake being the villain is going to be fun to me because I think he wanted this at the end. Like I said, you look at the Michael Jordans, you look at the Kobe Bryant's, they're always shown as the villain and people who make it to the top of their game at some point in their career, they're seen as the bad guy. Everybody's going against them. Everybody hates them. And Drake has so many resources at his disposal that it's only a matter of time before he responds and him going up against pretty much all of hip hop. I think it's going to escalate him and push him to another level because think about it. The biggest song on Metro Boomin's album was like that, right? The biggest song so far, obviously has a lot to do with Kendrick Mars, this towards Drake. 
you have to say that's the power of drake man people talking about drake and moves the needle needle drake responding man that's gonna do even more so uh at this point hollywood co i disagree now i know in the past i'm i'm changing up my tune a little bit i know in the past i said drake is usually militant and i agreed with that at the time because it was just drake versus kendrick and you know metro and future they're kind of just being the instigator so i think drake was going to let them live now you got asap rocky you got the weekend you've got j cole essentially leaving drake on an island it, nah man drake is not i don't think drake is going to disappoint us and not respond to this directly it's going to happen it needs to happen and i know he's going to be smart about it and there will probably be little things here and there leading up to the direct response but shh. i'm looking forward to this big d right says drake's drake's about to get the all-star ghost riders just why dang why you gotta <laughs> let that man work man god dang hollywood co said is it like an r b album or a, or a r b album i wouldn't say so it's a little more chill but i don't think it's an r b album future does a lot of singing singing on it though so it depends you'll have to listen to it big d Wright said he hasn't listened to it yet hollywood co said i haven't listened yet either i've been on that purple tape yes sir here we go hollywood co said cole ain't a pick a side type ninja his name is bennett and he ain't <laughs> he ain't it <laughs> Wow. Yep, and Hollywood Co was quoting the lyrics. He said, You sound faded. They downgraded. They Pluto. Lame, man. Big D Wright said, Where's Pusha T? Nobody's talking about Pusha T right now. The only time they talk about Pusha T is when they talk about Drake. And, yeah, unless you're like a super, super hip hop fan. Bushido Band says, It wasn't, it wasn't even a rumor. He was hitting that. Yeah, I mean, she was a, yeah, Riri and Drake, they were they were in it. I think Drake is fine. Uh, Big D Wright said Drake's still mad at ASAP because of Re ASAP because of Riri. I don't think so. And Hollywood Co said nuclear diss track is crazy. I don't think Drake's gonna respond directly, but I don't think he's gonna have like the whole song dedicated to it. But he's gonna say something and be like, y'all, this and this and this and this and this. Uh Eugene Edgar says, What's your favorite song? I'll uh, parody it for fun. Uh, interesting. Uh, you'll have to clarify, Eugene, and let me know what you mean. J. Bo Fletch is in here too. Shout out to J. Bo. And who else we have? Who else we have in the building? I want to say what's up to a couple more of y'all, and then we'll get the speed round in, and then I'll get y'all up out of here. Uh, let me see. We've got, we've got Robert Raps. Shout out to Robert La Raps. He said, Rocky's verse was butt. <laughs> Nobody's checking for ASAP Rocky, man. It looks like nobody called in today either. I wanted to hear y'all's thoughts on this, but we can maybe address it on Monday because we're going to get a couple more songs and then we're going to get up out of here. Big D Wright says, so who is in the lead for the big three? There is no big three. There's no big three. And it has to be Drake right now because Kendrick really hasn't done anything. Yeah, so there's no big three. The big three's dead, in my opinion. Drake is Drake is that dude right now. He's that dude. There's really nobody that can say they can go up against him. Again, like I said, the most popular song on, on Metro Boomin's album is because of a disc about Drake. Drake is carrying the whole game on his back right now. There, I mean, a, a few months ago, we were talking, there was talk about how hip hop was dead. And now, look at this, man. If it weren't for Drake, I don't know what we would be doing right now. Drake is on top. Drake is number one. There's no question. It's going to be fun to watch. Solo Cash is in here. He said, what up? 
What up, Classy? What up, chat? What's up, man? Let's get some more of these songs in here, and then I'm going to get y'all up out of here. Check this one out. This is Seth with Blinded by Love. Yeah, it's, it's Drake against the world, man. Who would be a good versus for Drake? Uh, who could beat Drake? Or who would be a good versus for Drake? It wouldn't be fair, but Lil Wayne. I don't, they would never do it, but... Yeah, that would that would be tough. Who else? A versus with Drake. I could see a versus, obviously Kendrick, but I mean, I still think Drake is gonna have him beat at this point. Um, in hip hop, yeah, yeah. Big D Rock said that's not fair. Lil Wayne would body Drake. Yeah, it would be. It wouldn't be fair. Uh, it wouldn't be fair. Anyway, here we go. Let's run this one back from Seth. Future against Drake? That wouldn't be fair either. <laughs> Cause you got so many of Future's hips hits are on what a time to be alive. So you can't Drake is un undefeated right now. Yeah, Seth, this needs to be public, man. This is dope. Uh, Solo Cash said, Classy Future will crush Drake if you ask me. I'm a bigger Future fan than I am Drake fan, and I disagree 100%. I mean, several of Future's biggest hits. And I mean, even think of Life is Good. Several of Future's biggest hits. That's what a time to be alive. You got Life is Good. You think of Future's discography in between that compared to Drake's? Nah, man. So I got to disagree with you. One fifty eleven thousand percent. Drake would wax Future respectfully. All right, let's get a couple more in here. Oh, Underdog says he's going to call in. What time is it? Oh, man, I got to get out of here. All right, Underdog, if you call in, I will bring you up on the show. Y'all check this one out from Trap Towns. It's called Towns. Just, just let yeah. me know when you call in, and I'll bring you out. Trap. Town, man. Call it out. From a little place. I just saw some different shit. Feeling different, acting different. Moving different. Yeah, let's go. Woke up this morning and all the flowers were dead There's never really much green to take the scenic ride instead I see you, I see you, I see you, I see you, I see you I saw it before I read I channel inner aggression and turn my pain into bread I'm the young dun, wrist ripping sauce like one ton One ton, chip on my shoulder, where did it come from? Maybe all the times I said I tried, but I lied My granddad really, really never died In my eyes, I'm on rise in due time Ambition feeding my grind, my intervention divine My intuition is mine, trying to reach When I speak like preachers and teachers teach I pray I don't touch my peak, can't see my daughter in So discreet, I critique every symbol on the beat No surrender, no retreat, no defeat, lace your cleats Steady fighting the war with the guy that I used to be Do it for Jizzle and Jenny, my niggas living through me Yes, sir Yeah Yeah, everybody loves this one Why is this not public, Trap Towns? Come on now all right, let's bring up Mr. Tesla. Let me see if he's good. Mr. Tesla, can you hear me? 
Mr. Tesla. Mic check. One, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah, for some reason, Mr. Tesla just. Underdog, can you hear me? Check, check, check. I can see that my volume's good. But for some reason. Yeah, you don't have any volume. All right, we'll keep trying. Let's get this next one in. This next one is from. Where did it go? Lay low is up in here. Y'all check it. Lay low. This song is titled. Hennessy. Let's go. Let me see if I can get Mr. Tesla in here. Oh, uh, Robert Raps, you don't have to pay play to get your song played. Hey, to get your song played. Jeez. So here we go. Trying to focus on my life Making all this music got me in my fucking vibe Bitch don't kill my vibe I'm just trying to live my life Making all this money Got my bros right by my side Yeah, I like this, Lilo. This is nice The melody The melody f that you had with your vocals It's a little monotone But it was nice It flowed well It's kind of chill It just wasn't It was just a little boring Honestly But yeah, it was cool all right, let's check this one out. Solo Cash, Solo and Justora. Okay, here we go. He says he's working on his album. He's going to drop it in May or July. Okay. You know the same shit with this nigga. You know I'm always here for you. You can vent to me. Yeah, I know. Now tell me what's up, what's going on? Oh, my God. We've been going back and forth. Arguing over petty shit, but I can't ignore Just how I'm in the wrong, too Cause every night I'm thinking about me and you Shit, I'm feeling the same way Like I wanna be a baby Fuck on you so crazy No if and buts and maybes You don't need to save me Are you ready in the day? Couldn't take all the arguing, I was hurting inside. Mm. When I'm with you, I'm knowing I don't need to hide. Can we meet up where we first did it? Where we are in love with it, yeah. Unless you care about what they'll think. Don't listen to what people say they don't know about. For this, I don't really give a damn and shit. Cause the way that I've been feeling, I've been wanting this. Your love and kiss is something that I can't resist. Just let me know that true love exists. Yeah, but I've been feeling you before the breakups. And when you hurting, I was there to cheer you up. And I remember every moment. I was there when you caught my phone crying. The meet up, set the park, just the vibe. Deep down in your soul, you know you mine. You a diamond that really deserve to stand out and shine. I don't think that nigga knew what he had in his sad. Cause I don't think that girl knew what she had in his bag. Cause I couldn't seem to get you out my head. And that's a hard ass pill just to swallow. Yeah, we feel like no tomorrow. Now that our time ain't being by road. No more days in nice, our tower. Man. Let me take you to my condo. Let's go. Fuck it, I really want you to move in. 
Earl. And I don't give a fuck about what they think. So the feeling of the good ain't on me. Maybe they don't understand that me and you are different type of breed. To each other, we bring nothing but the pee. So let them hate, cause we got all that we need. Our heart is hungry for the love, so let it feed. I let it happen, so we shit gon' let it be. I hear you so long. Don't listen to what people say they don't know about you and me. So hmm. be on the lookout. Oh hell no, nigga. I know you ain't on the phone with a bitch. You got me fucked all the way up. Man, it's over. I'm done. <laughs> Shout out to Solo Cash and just store on that one. That was dope. I like it, man. And Solo Cash said he's dropping the album coming this May or July. Okay. Looking forward to it, man. Now I will say on this one, I like the way the mix was done. Very, very well done. Very smooth. The levels were good. Um, I like how y'all's vocals were mixed, especially on the the section where it sounds like you're on the phone. Good job there. I will say, just Dora, she has a couple of spots in this song, most notably towards the outro, and then not really the hook, but this bridge, this bridge section where some of her notes were a little flat. So she needs some type of pitch correction on some of those harmonies. And on her main vocals because the the notes were not just hidden as hard yeah he said pitchy right yeah yeah some of them were pitchy so get a little bit of pitch correction on there some auto tune uh, don't just don't turn it up as much so you don't have to so you don't change uh, how her voice sounds and it just <laughs> helps those notes hit a little bit more but overall this was dope man yeah i like it i like it yeah, and shout out to Robert Raps for giving his perspective. There's nothing wrong with that, man. Hey, you don't have to. If you're not feeling it, that's good feedback. Yeah. He said, uh, Big D Wright said that track was smooth and heat solo was a vibe. And he said, yeah, I already fixed all that. Uh, oh, she don't use auto-tune. Yeah, if you could throw some auto-tune on there and just turn the mix level down, it should smooth out some of that. But yeah, these... These vocals need you and me, put it Yeah, that you and me. It's just it's just the wrong note. You and me, put it out see, they don't know about this. Yeah. Yep, I like the idea. She's got the right idea. It just needs a little bit more work. Shout out to Solo Cash. All right, y'all. I hate to do it, but I got to get out of here. I have a few more things I got to finish up this afternoon before tonight's show. But speaking of tonight's show, make sure y'all tune in tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to be giving away $100 in cash, and you'll have a chance to win that brand new Shure microphone, the 55SH microphone from Shure. So tune in. We're giving away some door prizes as well, and you guys get a chance to get your music heard by the rest of the community. All right? I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Hope you have a great rest of your afternoon. And I will see y'all on tonight's show. All right, y'all keep growing, keep pushing, keep it classy. We gone. Peace. Just to clear, I need you clear.
close to ease this pain Forever by my side, let's dance in this rain I'm on my knees, begging for your love Sent from above, you're my angel, my dove I cherish you always, in every way Together we'll shine brighter, every day She got me, she got me calling out for you She got me calling out for you, for you I'm reaching out, with tears in my eyes Can't hold her back, this love is no disguise Every word I say, comes straight from my heart I'm crying out to you, hope I will never be apart You hear me crying out your name Feel like this pain won't go away Feeling like a stain that can never come out Baby, give me heaven, don't let me have no doubt Cause I really do love you Appreciate all these things I got for you The things that we done and the things that we gonna do Got a future so bright and you know it's really true Those memories all just forever gifts And I promise I'll never forget I love forever strong Cause we built that bond Together forever we gonna live on To the future generation of our kids It's not your mom and dad love you real shit She got me like mm -hmm. And she got me like mm -hmm. Yeah.